to every citizen of our land that I will be president for all Americans. And this is so important to me. Donald Trump, now the president-elect of the United States. Joining us now is Charleston County Republican Party Chair Larry Kabrowski. Larry. Good morning. Surprising night, right? It was. I mean, not, I mean, beyond belief, because compared to when we were here yesterday, 24 mm -hmm. hours ago, the world is much different. It did show that there was a hidden vote, that, that the polls did not show up, that overwhelmingly, really, the Roll the, the, the dice in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Ohio, I mean, all those states, Wisconsin. Uh, and remember, there was no organization behind yeah. Trump. Mm -hmm. I mean, you compare the, probably the Clinton machine was probably the most efficient and well-funded in the history of our country. A couple ways to look at this. Number one, the overwhelming burden on right. the Republican Party now because you have the White House, you have the House, you have the Senate. But Correct. you also have a president in there now who is beholden to no one because you mentioned right. he had no machine behind it. Well, I think that you saw a, a sentiment across the country of responded to his drain the swamp message. Uh, they thought there was maybe corruption insiderness on both parties because, again, it was a populist uprising. Well, that swamp now is full of a lot of right. his party. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's true. So I think that, but what you said, I think, is the, uh, what I think is hopeful for all Americans that it is somebody that would be beholden to nobody. Where that takes us remains to be seen, but I think, as I said last night, I would hope that the victors act with humility and, and understanding. In watching the results, it showed me the incredible divide among Americans, really between urban America and the rest of us. If you see what happened, I mean, the big cities went one way and 99% and of the landmass went somewhere else, and very decisively, and that was also shown in Charleston. Mm -hmm. So I hope that the victors show humility and the loser so grace and acceptance and that it, it's a wake-up call and I hope the level of animosity and intensity is somehow reconciled. I think what I just heard, I didn't see the, uh, the speech by Trump last night. I stayed up as late as I could mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and I hope that's a good sign and I hope that's the spirit that people take now to try to, because you know, I was out mm -hmm. working the, you know, the, the animosity between how partisans of both sides felt about the other is very intense. And I would hope we all take a deep breath today and, and again show humility and, and victory and grace and defeat and, and take that as a message and try to wake up today and the world is a different place. I think we would all would agree that uh, nobody expected the sweep well, of the Midwest. Well, nobody expected right. that, it, right. but, but also the Republican Party right. was pretty much pronounced dead yesterday, the day before. Well, now it's a <laughs> totally different right. outlook. I was surprised that the... the the Senate races too. We were gained, and now we, it's we the Democratic control. Party that has to look at itself and say, well, "All right, what now?" Right, because again, they had the. the it's not the machine. They had more money, uh, more operatives than anybody could ever buy or have, and it, it didn't work. And I would say that the you know reading nursery rhymes and my granddaughter, uh, all the king's men, all the king's horses couldn't put a Humpty Dumpty together again. All the scandals. I mean, if you look at it another way, that the you know, what you do in life catches up with you. And I think there's people with the Clinton Foundation, the emails, it was just too much. And at the very end, the, the perfect storm with Anthony Weiner kind of reminded people of everything they didn't like about her. We're expecting to hear from Secretary Clinton this, Clinton this morning that yeah. she did win Charleston County, right? She did. I mean, to be honest, uh, uh, it's a victory for local Republicans in the sense that in Charleston County, Republicans regain control of county council. We have one more state house, but again, we lost Charleston County. There's no way to sugarcoat that, that we won the low country mm -hmm. by a lot. Berkeley right. and Dorchester broke heavily for uh, Trump, but we lost Charleston County. And I, I think it, uh, we have a lot of work to do. I was, I, well, Larry, we're out of time. It, it, mm -hmm. Bottom line here is Republicans have work to do in the cities. Democrats have work to do elsewhere mm -hmm. and we'll see where things mm -hmm. go from here thanks for thanks, coming thanks for having us thanks Thank for getting up early or staying well he didn't awake, go to bed right. he didn't go to bed I, I, <laughs> I admire both of you because that's a difficult thing to do <laughs> i glory that if i had to do it over again i just would have stayed up that I would think have been a good choice <laughs> next time thank you <laughs>